Tarkaina, or as most of us know it, the Tarkine. A magnificent wilderness of ancient forests, flowing rivers, sweeping plains, and abundant wildlife. But there's something more, something that none of these things would be the same without. Hidden in plain sight, but all around us. This is the world of the fungi. My name's Tom May. I work with Fungi Map. Fungi Map is all about trying to raise awareness of the incredible diversity of Australia's fungi, trying to link people with an interest in fungi, get fungi into education, and also trying to improve the knowledge of Australian fungi so that we can better protect them. One of the key activities of Fungi Map is a mapping scheme for fungi. So we look for readily recognisable target species of fungi that everyone would have a chance of identifying. And we're trying to put dots on the map for those fungi. So we have a better idea of where Australia's fungi occur, which ones are common, and also which ones are rare, so that we can do a better job of conserving our fungi. Fungi are a whole kingdom of the natural world. Fungi are not plants and they're not animals. They're quite different organisms. They do different things than plants and animals. Fungi carry out really important roles in ecosystems, particularly in decomposition. Fungi also provide food for tiny animals like invertebrates and cycle nutrients through the forest. Another key role of fungi in forests is that they form partnerships with trees. So we see the giant tree in the forest, but it's really easy to miss the tiny fungus at the foot of the tree. Many fungi and trees are connected. The fungi form fine connections with the roots of trees and there's a swapping of nutrients. So the tree is providing nutrients to the fungus, but the fungus is also providing nutrients back to the tree so that they're mutually dependent. Why should we care about fungi? Well, fungi are part of biodiversity. They're an important part of biodiversity. There are plants, there are animals, and there are fungi doing really important things in ecosystems. So fungi are rotting wood. They're forming partnerships with plants. They're providing food for tiny animals, but also food for many mammals. So fungi are part of the fabric of the ecosystem. But in addition to that, there are many beneficial things about fungi. So we use fungi to make beer, to make bread, to make cheese. There are also lots of really interesting chemicals in fungi that are of great use. So antibiotics were originally discovered coming from fungi. Penicillin, the first antibiotic, came from a fungus. And fungi produce a lot of different chemicals that could be of use in medicine and in industry. Fungi have the remarkable ability to decompose wood. We know how hard wood is when it's freshly fallen from the tree. Fungi can decompose this wood, rotting it down, making it soft, releasing the nutrients. If there were no fungi rotting wood, the leaf litter, the twigs, the bark, and the branches would build up metres deep. So fungi are really important as recyclers. The fungi that we see, the mushrooms, the coral fungi, the bracket fungi, the puffballs, this is a part of the cycle of the fungus that produces spores. So this mushroom comes up briefly for a couple of weeks in autumn after rain, produces spores, they drop onto the ground, they grow, and in the soil the fungus is living as tiny fine threads called hyphae. They're microscopic, we can't see them. It's only when the fungus produces the fruit body, the part of the fungus that produces spores, that we notice them. The mushrooms, the bracket fungi, the coral fungi, the puffballs. So now you know a little bit about fungi and how important they are, what can you do? One of the activities of Fungi Map is a mapping scheme. We're trying to find out where fungi grow and what kind of habitats they grow in. So the way we do this is we focus on target species. These are readily recognisable fungi that you can recognise in the field, such as the beautiful blue Pixies parasol. We have a guide to the target species, fungi down under, and many of the target species are widely distributed and there will always be a target species somewhere when you're out looking for fungi. What we like people to record is the location where they found the fungus, the date, and the kind of forest or habitat that the fungus occurred in. We have a recording sheet that you can fill in that can be on a piece of paper or as a spreadsheet. And photos are great. If you send photos, that's a great way to check if the identification is correct. You can find out about the mapping scheme and lots more about fungi at our website, fungimap.org.au.